okay how's it going guys welcome back to another video just a quick video so i've got a brand new hard drive and as you can see there is one over there that's a one terabyte hard drive and the other one is a 320 gigabyte hard drive this one is three terabytes now i know that this is made for uh, to use as an archive or something but you don't really have to use them for that and hopefully it's not broken because it is fragile it does say that i'm just trying to um hide the address that i've got on the box so as you can see it comes in like this apparently it doesn't come in the retail packaging so and it's pretty small let me just put this over here for now see what's inside over here so i'm fasting right now so i'm not gonna be what um well this is called not retail retail packaging so just put the box to the side okay so long story short i got um a 320 gigabyte hard drive just to fill in with music and apparently it's gone more than that it's like tons i've, I've gone ab about 200 gigs over and i've not put it on that and i'm being you know a little stressed out because i want all of it on one drive so i can actually manage it all on in a full bar over here i've got um and then the one terabyte hard drive is filled with a lot of other stuff and so i have put as much as i can onto that and the rest i haven't really downloaded i've bought but i haven't really downloaded i'm just getting a lot of artists these days um and stuff so here is the one without the retail packaging um this is the three terabyte um hard drive from wd um that's western digital and i got this just for music just for music and now this is not a hi-fi channel in case you guys are wondering this is actually the bottom it's got like two rubber feet of it and, and uh, it's actually kind of cute uh, i think because it's not big um es essentially what this is 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 just an enclosure with an actual hard drive inside it so if i was to open this up I can actually replace it with an SSD or probably another hard drive, but you probably wouldn't want to do that and it stands up like this, that's cool. Let's just see what this is. Um, this is just for the help kind of thing. Oh, okay, it's nonsense. Um, let's see what kind of cables it comes with. So, it's basically plug and play. I mean, it's, it's a hard drive and all. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it works with a micro usb 3 cable just like the one terabyte hard drive that over there does i don't know why they just didn't go with a proper full size usb this is just stupid um i would have been fine with it but the thing is small cables just break easily i'll admit that i haven't broken any in my whole life because but that's because you know i'm gentle with te technology and all i know how things are made and so i know how to just kind of deal with them um, but normal people they end up breaking hundreds of these micro hard uh, micro cables so we've got um, oh it's a us wall adapter thing we also got another the bloody hell oh my god oh okay here's the uk one um and this works with an external power so that's the messed up thing because if you have a power surge <laughs> he's gonna die out okay i mean hopefully it doesn't but this is the 12 volt one and i've got a spare socket i'll just put this on it and uh, this is gonna sit at the side it's like a mini pc i mean i've been looking for something uh, a mini pc of this size but i can't really find a good one um if i want one then it's probably the intel nook uh the new one that one that has an i7 and bs inside and the one with the school on it i don't know what it's called is it called the school school canyon or something um, so these are basically other adapters so you can use them with different power cords and all wall adapters but i'm not gonna use that i'm just gonna go ahead and um, i'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and let's see how much it's actually got so as you can see you can see the hard drive in there well i can't um sorry for the background noise um and this is a new one it's actually got a bit of heft to it and it says here my book www.wd.com and at the bottom and at the top it's got two vents now i'm going to be really careful with this i just love the design on it by the way that is really really nice 
So look at that, you're gonna sit like this, like a tower, it's gonna look nice and all, hopefully. Um, uh, there is smaller ones out there, uh, there are one, the, the other one's called My Passport, I think, yeah. Um, here we go, weird cable. There we go, nice, uh, just gotta get a plug. Just, uh, uh, now, in, in other words, I mean, you could just buy an adapter, a USB adapter that would, um, you know, just, um, so it turns into a SATA 3 connection on the other side, I've seen some, and that's kind of funny because I think that's essentially what this is, it's just got an adapter in there that allows the SATA 3 connection to be gone through the USB nonsense and this and that, and it works just as simple as that. Now, let's just see where I can actually put this, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in um everything else is red on the screen is filled up even the hard drive on the laptop i filled it completely and it's giving me thousands of messages to just empty out the space and all because you know windows wants to keep sucking the th dumb thing in yeah here we go oh it looks like this has the adapter or the uk adapter in it or something I don't know, maybe they just didn't give me the adapter with it. I mean, I did buy it for a really cheap price. I'll get onto that in a bit. Let me just go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so here's what I'm just going to do. Um, whenever I want to use it, I'll just have it over there. And whenever I want to put it away, because, you know, here's a table. It's, uh, it's always being used and all. I want to put it in a really stationary position. So I'll just go ahead and unplug it and then put it somewhere else. And that power cable and stuff is just going to be on the same place all the time, so that's fine. Alright, so it's going to go USB 3, and this does look like a decent cable. The power cable is actually really, really cheap. Okay, it's made a funny sound. It started whining and all. And something definitely is wrong over here because it's not popping up, I think. Or maybe there's a button on here, I forgot. Oh no, there it is. Whoa, it's not as bad as I thought. That's nice. Um, It's giving me 2.72 terabytes of storage. Now, I don't... Um, now, there's a 4 terabyte version. And that gives you 3.5 terabytes, something. So, this is much more closer to 3 than the, three, uh, the 4 terabyte one. So, you just lose less space. As you get bigger on hard drive space, um, should we do a speed test on it? I think um, I have a form. I just, I just plugged in right now, so I don't know if you can read that. But I'm gonna do a five gigabyte stress test. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a speed test on it. Whoa, that is awesome! Right speed is 145 megabytes a second. Sorry for the background noise. And read speed is read speed is bloody hell! Take this camera off. Look at that. Look how that is actually got really, really good speeds. Now, I'm not gobsmacked on anything. I kind of expected something like this. This is actually considered really, really shit speed in my, uh, you know, in my own world, in my head. But considering this hard drive does a lot more better than the others that I've got, it's actually, it's actually really, really nice. It's more, it's like about... 10 times faster or something maybe more like five times faster but it is really really fast so that's nice okay so reads and write speed is 150 megabytes second both of them let's go ahead and move all the files over uh, let's just see what we've got in here so we've got the wd stuff um it also comes with the setup i mean uh software that you so you can just kind of put a password on your files and all but i'm just gonna call it a new folder um and I'm gonna put all these things in there because I don't want to use them, but I don't really want to, you know, lose them in case I want them back or something like that. Um, so I'll just leave them over there. But what I'm gonna do is move all the files and all that onto this. So that's, you know, yeah, kind of like that, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna put my music onto this because apparently I just fucking ran out of space. Windows, you told me to free hard up some space, so. Here we go, we're filling up some space. But it actually looks nice and it's not really that loud or anything, I mean. 
that's nice. It's actually got some rent, so it, there's no fans inside it, so it just kind of gets the heat. I mean, the air from the bottom, it gets heated up and it just goes up because naturally, you know, hot air kind of goes up, so it just um, kind of gets cold there, then makes it hot, goes up, and in that way, it's kind of cooling it. Um, but I think it's kind of nice. I mean, it looks really, really nice, sleek looking and all. Um, this is a new one, by the way, um, the new design, but it's the same thing. Um, yeah, it's actually looking kind of nice. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you again in another video.